Yes, exactly. Beautiful, man. A lot of people say, well, they don't say, but they think, what do people wear under a kilt? And traditionally, you wear luncheon meats. <laughs> that sort of folded up into little... That's why it's, people do this. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Les, you wearing any kielbasa links no, under no, there? And I, and I dare wouldn't, I wouldn't no. look under either. <laughs> I, I was in Scotland one time when a guy just lifted up one of those kilts. Yes, and you just I, happened to be there. Oh, yeah. boy, boy, were we out of there in a hurry. Yeah. yeah. It's Loch Ness no, Monster it's, fell out, huh? Uh, all hell broke loose. Forget about it. Forget about it. You don't lift up a kilt, but... No, you don't let someone else lift it up either. No. Not even a guitar player, no, right? No. Okay, go ahead. Oh, I, look. I hear you play guitar. Yes, I do. A bit, Are you, yeah. You're not familiar with Mr. Tufnell's work? No. Yeah. Well, I will be familiar in a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. you guys are going to jam together. Now, you know, you're a bit of an, a, a famous inventor. There's multi-track recording and that. You know, Nigel, that... he of the 11 setting on the amplifier. Are you, are you familiar with that? Yeah, I heard about it. Yes. Well, the new thing, actually, I have two new things. There's the amp goes to infinity now. Oh. So I figure, you know, why limit, limit sure. yourself? And there's also the amplifier capo. It's a capo that goes around an amplifier, and it squeezes the speaker <laughs> cones like this. And it, as I, we were playing a gig, and a fat man fell into an amplifier, and the sound changed. And I thought, how can I do that? Besides so getting fat. An amplifier capo squeezes it and the sound goes up so you don't have to wear a capo. 